Good sunny hot morning. I'm just waiting for Cliff to show up and then we're going to be heading out on the bikes, meeting up with some other guys and heading over to Mount Baker just across the border. I've got most of the uh, mods done. I got the pannier racks on. The only thing I'm missing that I forgot to take off the other one is the brackets here. So I've ordered those up just waiting for those to arrive and then this is pretty secure anyways even without them so not a big deal. And there's a few issues which I'll uh, talk about once we hit the road that I have with the bike. We'll see if I can get those uh, resolved. Toot sweet! There's Cliff and Jerry. Hi. Hi. We gotta meet the guys at uh, 9.30 at Sumas. All right. That's Jerry. You remember Cliff from the last time. Jerry's now going to also be famous on YouTube. So good for you, Jerry. Uh, he's got the Africa Twin. That's the one I was going to buy. Lead us to the highway and then I'll take over from there. Okay. Keep going. One of the issues that came up with this bike, right off the get-go, the front wheel is super wobbly. So you can see how wobbly the handlebars are. And that was right from the start. I thought, oh, maybe it's the new tires, but 200K in and it kept doing it. So I took the bike back. The first thing the guy tries to tell me, the tech, is that it's because of the box and the pannier rack. And I'm like, are you on glue? First of all, I just put those on, so it was doing that long before that. And there's no way that that weight is gonna cause the whole front to wobble. Anyways, turns out they gave it to me with low tire pressure, but that hasn't fixed the issue. Waiting to hear back from Yamaha, they said. So, but I'm gonna have to call them if I don't hear from them in the next few weeks and say, Jesus Christ, the thing's brand new. So you'd better fix this. So. That whole shot, not really the best place. There's not too many options for buying bikes, but unfortunately customer service is not great these days. So it's great on clear days. You can see Mount Baker from Vancouver forever. And it's, uh, it's a bit hazy today, but sometimes it's super clear awesome but it still looks like a very imposing mountain I've actually all the years I've lived here never been up to Mount Baker I tried once years ago and got lost so so this will be a first okay just gonna hit up the border get some gas on the other side of the border and then we'll uh, take this fancy trail up to Mount Baker but all the poor people who don't have Nexus sitting in line. So where's home? Uh, Port Booty. Have a good day. One hour later. Okay, we've all successfully made it through the border, got some fuel, and now we're just gonna If Cliff doesn't take me out, we'll now cruise along the nice road up to uh, Monsieur Baker, my namesake mountain. I should actually get a free pass there during the winter for uh, snowboarding.
Yeah, we successfully made it to the top of Mount Baker. That actually Mount Baker in the distance. There's Cliff trying to ruin my shot. Now that's the actual ski hill there. Somewhere in there. Anyways. And uh, we're just going to head back down the mountain a little bit now and go grab some lunch before we head back. Okay, lunch is done. Probably the most expensive thing I've ever had. A little cheap sandwich for 16 US. Which is like over 20 bucks Canadian. They're really taking advantage of my good nature. Anyways, we'll head down the mountain on my wobbly handlebars and uh, make our way back to Canada. Look at Mel Baker, we're back in Canada, he's the border crossing. Now it's just going to be a boring cruise on the highway back. So we'll sign off here.